Hey everyone, Antonio here, and I'm here back again with the Align 150 uh, DFC. I have it here next to a 3 cell 2200 because uh, there was a few guys um, <clears throat> that sent me a few uh, messages and they wanted to see kind of, you know, the real size of it. Because in video, I mean, everything kind of looks the same. Um, so here's the size, you know, relative size of it. Uh, you can see it here next to uh, a 3 cell 2200. And it's um, it's a little bit smaller than uh, BLS or sorry, uh, MCPX uh, BL. I don't know where I got the BLS from, uh, brushless. Um, but yeah, it's a tad bit smaller um, than uh, uh, MCPX BL. Um, it's about uh, it's about the size of the uh, MCPX uh, V2, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, as far as size goes, that that's how, that's how the size of it. But I think I put enough time on it, enough lights on it, to really give you guys my honest opinion um, on this Align 150. Uh, like I had mentioned before, I have owned and flown a lot uh, the MCPX BL and uh, the 130X, which is pretty much the best of the best that Blade has to offer in the Micro Series. Um, but with that being said, I think, uh, you know, like I said, I can, I can really uh, give you guys my honest opinion of it. Um, you know, in, in what ways I think this is better or worse than that. Um, I'd say, let's say, let's start with uh, 130X. Um, this compared to the 130X, I'd have to give it, uh, by far, I'd have to give it to the Align 150. Um, the main reason of that is just the torque tube i mean it's really nice that blade thought about a torque tube and gears but you got to think about it something that small i mean it takes a small nick on the tail blades and that whole um you know all the tear the tail gears will, will go out and then i've also done the tail gear uh metal upgrades and then i have uh, resonance in the uh, torque tube uh so it's it's just really always chasing a problem down um, not to mention the tail servo always going out on it um there is an upgrade you can do. I forget, is it a 37? I forget the model number of the E-Flight servo you can put on the tail um, and to fix that issue. And then once you fix that issue, you have your uh, cyclic servos. I mean, they tend to last a little bit more than the tail one, but still, I'm just not a big fan of those, you know, uh, worm gear style servos. I'm, I'm more of a actual servo like you see here on the line. Um, as, far, as far as power uh, goes, I'd say this has a lot more power than the 130X. The power to weight ratio is, it'll by far blow it away. It has more than enough power to TikTok. I mean, I've been TikToking this thing, and I don't know about you guys, but these little micros are really, really, generally really hard to TikTok. Um, you'll tend to bog the head, then you get a weird, you know, oscillation in, in between it. And believe it or not, this thing is just so easy to do it. It's it's amazing. I mean, Align really took what a year and a half to release a solid, right? Actually, to release a 3D micro. Um, but let me tell you guys, they really did their homework. I'm glad they waited and they released something like this. Where, where you know, I'd rather them release something like this where something half-assed and we all have to end up upgrading it, changing this, changing that. I mean, this right out of the box, you have a fully aluminum um, main shaft. Fully aluminum solid um, uh, hub and your grips. So you're you're pretty much done as far as upgrading goes. I mean, I'm trying to see what else you can upgrade. Maybe an aluminum swash or aluminum um, uh, links. I mean, really, I wouldn't want to do that. But I guess that's something you could upgrade, and that's really all you'd really want to upgrade on this thing. Uh, moving on now uh, to the MCPX BL, the brushless version, comparing that to uh, this Align uh, 150. Um, it flies a lot more solid. I'll, I'll get I'll get to the the feel of the board in a, in a little bit, but it flies a lot more solid. Once again, the power to weight ratio blows it away. Um, as far as the tail authority, it's I mean I've yet to have this thing blow out. Uh, my BL I don't think I ever got it to blow out, although I have heard a few guys uh, that can get it to blow out and they're worried about the tail, but this thing has more than enough uh, tail authority on this thing. I mean, it's, I mean, I love it. I love it. Um, 
you know, really no complaints with it. But yeah, this by far has a way better power to weight ratio than the um, MCPX BL. Um, I think uh, the general, you know, one thing I really, really like on this uh, Align 150 versus any of the micro blades, uh, by any I mean the two models I just spoke of, the 130X and the MCPX, the board. The board they're using to control this thing is absolutely amazing, guys. Um, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you guys have flipped a 130X or uh, MCPX BL. And it's always after the flip, right about here, when you kind of, you know, center your sticks, you get a weird, you know, a weird toilet or oscillation whenever you're doing pirouettes or whenever you do a hard input, you get a weird oscillation. A line somehow worked that out. I don't know what they did. Uh, the algorithms, I'm sure they messed with. But anyways, it's a lot more solid. Another thing, uh, yesterday, yesterday, yeah, yesterday here in California, we had Santa Ana winds. And for you guys that don't know Santa Ana winds, it's just one minute you're, you, you know, you you got about five miles an, an hour. The next minute you have 25 miles an hour, which is weird gust. And they're pretty high uh, gusty winds. And I, I, um, I know for a fact, if I would have been flying my blade, it would have kind of just been hunting everywhere and searching and and this thing yesterday i literally took my hands off the sticks and you could see the thing just hover obviously it was slightly tilted to the right to compensate for the wind but it's it's a lot more solid controller you know i'm a big fan of blade i'm not trying to bag on blade saying blade sucks but as far as the micros go i gotta be honest with you guys i gotta be honest with everyone this by far takes it i mean it, it's a lot more solid machine. The power to weight ratio is there. It's pretty hard to bog the head. Uh, kind of nearly impossible if you ask me. Um, you don't need much, much uh, collective management. You can really mash on it. You know, a lot of the micros, you kind of need collective management or else you get the weird oscillation. The board on this thing is a lot more solid, in my opinion, than the than the blades. And by a few steps, not by a little bit, by a few steps. Um, I talked about the tail. Oh, another thing. Another thing I'm sure everybody uh, knows on the blades, it's it's kind of hard to, to to get away from it, um, but it's you know it's a common issue with all the blades. I don't know if you guys have ever touched the the, the blades on uh, the blades on the blade helicopters. <laughs> if don't lose me there, uh, but touch the main blades on the blade model helicopters, you always feel slop. And I mean, we're, you know, we're like, okay, you know, we'll do with it. It's normal, whatever. And then when you're flying, you actually feel the slop around center. It, it's 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 a weird thing. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It, it, it kind of feels like there's a weird dead bend um, right around center. That's one thing this Align does not have. Right around center, it's very crisp. It's a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a very connected feel. Like you, let's say your stick is here. If you f move it up, you know, about a millimeter, you feel the helicopter move up about a millimeter. It's a very connected feel it's it's you know it's it's solid it's a hundred percent solid a lot of that has to do uh with the dfc and the swash aligns using aligns i'm sure you guys have seen the 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 blade swash uh swash blades they they're not the best uh, they inherit slop over time and right out of the box they have slop this one it's just it pretty much look, looks like a standard helicopter uh swash plate it's very 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 solid um, so, okay, I covered the comparison. I covered the slot uh, free around center. Uh, what else? What else? I actually did get to crash it today, guys. I I, uh, I was messing around. I will have that video uploaded right after I upload this video if you guys want to check it out. And uh, you guys are going to see on that, that video I upload the half perils on this thing. I mean, I had them pretty sweet. You know, I would do my half peril kind of stop it inverted and it's you know it doesn't do hunting around like the blades tend to do it's just a really really locked in feel um but back to what i just mentioned i did crash it today it was a pretty hard pretty hard crash i can almost bet any amount of money if my blade would have went in whether the bl or the 130x i would have for sure broken something i could guarantee it guys i could like i said i could almost bet anything this thing not absolutely nothing broke nothing guys i was a hundred percent amazed the only thing i got is a tiny little scrape on the blades and i'm barely anything on the i don't even know if the camera can pick that up it's very very my oh there you go very minute here on the, on the rear 
Um, but yeah, it, it took it really well. Like I said, I could almost bet any amount of money my blade uh, would have broke for sure. Um, blade brand. Don't, don't get me confused there. Um, oh, another thing I want to talk about. You get two little pods here, two little adjustment pods. One pod there, if you see up here, it has uh, writing, says roll rate. The other one is gain. Obviously, one controls agility on elevator and aileron. It comes pretty low out of the box. I highly recommend you guys increasing that. The first time I flipped it, I almost lost it because it was so low. I guess they want to leave it for a beginner um, is really what they want to do. But yeah, I highly recommend you increasing that uh, just a tad bit. Um, and your gains, I think my gains, I increased it by two hours. By two hours, mean mean this would be default one, two, or I guess I overshot that. Default one, two hours. Uh, two or three hours, I think I did uh, for the gain, and I increased my uh, roll. I think that was, I think that was about four. It was about yeah, about three and a half, four hours. I increased the the agility, but a lot of that is preference. Um, another thing I, I want to mention, out of the box, a lot of you guys are going to hover uh, this, especially mine, out of the box, and you're going to notice it, it tends to bounce on the elevator. Now, a lot of you might go straight to the board and try to adjust the gain. Do not do that, guys. Uh, for you guys that fly uh, bigger helicopters, we all know how ball links work and how ball links need to break in. Um, you know, the tighter the tighter your, your mechanics are, especially like on this line, the more rigid it's going to be and the more it has to break in. That's why you don't see it in the blades typically. It's because they have a lot of sl uh, slot built into them. Um, not built into them, but they just have a lot of slot. Uh, so be sure to let it break in, guys. Hover it. I mean, fly it around. Beat it around about two batteries. If you still have the oscillation, then go about and, and messing with the gain. Um, but like I said, this one I noticed right out of the box. I had a kind of a little elevator jumpiness, but... From my experience, I already knew that 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 when you have a really rigid system, a slot-free system, you kind of need to let it break in, and that was the case here. I think mine took about three or four flights, and uh, it broke in. But yeah, guys, other than the crash, oh, the only thing I did mess up today at the crash, which is really weird to me, I actually cut a wire, oh, or a wire got cut. Let me see if the camera can pick it up. You can see here, this wire doesn't match the colors of those wires. If you ever do end up cutting off, it's the same connector as the Wakira. You only have to switch uh, the signal wire and the negative wire. Just switch them and you'll be fine. It's the same connector as Wakira. Um, but yeah, somehow, um, you could probably see the heat shrink here. But this wire somehow, I guess, hit the motor like that in the crash. I don't know how it happened, so don't ask me how it happened. All I did is just solder it back up because I was not about to buy another perfectly good servo. Um, that could have been soldered just for no reason. So this time around, I'm probably going to put some dental floss. You can see there in the middle, in the middle there, there's a place to run the dental floss and kind of hold all these wires in against that board. Um, that's something, like I said, I don't know how it happened. Uh, you know, it, it's weird. It's very weird. It's, I couldn't even explain it. I looked at it for about five minutes and I still couldn't understand how that got cut. Um, but that's really all that happened in the crash. I'm trying to see what I'm missing here. Um, I'm going to have uh, more videos to come on uh, programming it. Uh, personally, I use a 14SG. So I'm going to have a video on how, to, how I personally uh, programmed it to my uh, 14SG. Um, oh, as far as the batteries go, uh, like I mentioned my other video, they do not come with a charger. I don't know about you guys, but... I never use chargers that come with helicopters or planes. Reason why is because they kind of suck. Uh, they take a long time. They're very inaccurate. So I always tend to, to use my own charger. So I'm kind of good with the idea that Align didn't give me a charger. I guess they saved me money because if they would have included it, the kit probably would have been a little bit more expensive. The good news is the connector Align uses is just a standard two cell balance connector, guys. That's all it is. I'm trying to focus it here, see if I can pick it up. But all it is is a standard um, two-cell connector. So all you got to do is go and um, I think Common Sense orders a balance extension two-cell. Order that, cut off your female end, yeah, your female end, and just wire it in. If you guys would like for me to make a video on how to make that connector, I can make it. I mean, it takes me about two minutes to make the connector on someone that's never done it. 
I don't see it taking more than probably five minutes to make the connector. So it's really simple and you can use your, your high quality chargers to balance it out a lot better and so on and so forth. The better balanced battery will give you better flight time obviously and, and, and all that. But I think that's pretty much it guys. Like I said, I'm going to be posting a flying video after uh, this video here as well to come. I will have a video on how to program it uh, to uh, Futaba radio. Uh, either the 8 or actually you can't use it on the 8FG. Uh, so I will have a video how to program it to the 14FG. For you guys that may have heard that, yes, you cannot use this model with an 8FG. Reason is because this only transmits uh, to FHSS, not fast or fastest. So you have to have a, a Futaba radio that's kind of back compatible or have one that transmit, uh, transmits in FHSS. Um, but I will have those videos coming along. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, long 15 minute video. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you can send me a PM. Uh, you can leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer your question. Like I said, there will be more videos to come. Um, but like I said, I really got to give it to Align. Um, Align is, is, I think they're about four to five steps ahead of Blade as this model stands in, in a lot of aspects, more than one. Uh, so if you guys have been out there watching these videos in non-forums and saying, man, do I really want a 150? Take my word for it, guys. You will not regret it. It's a solid machine, takes crashes really well, flies great, the gyro's really solid, flips great. I mean, you know, I can't really say anymore. Once again, I'm not bashing on Blade. I absolutely love their 700. I love their 550 uh, Pro Series helicopters. So I'm not trying to bash on them. I'm just trying to give an honest review. Like I said, if you guys have any comments, be sure to leave it below. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.